Welcome to Spidell's California Minute. I'm your host, Catherine Sedan, and this week we're looking at IRS letter 6470 that some taxpayers are receiving regarding the recovery rebate credit and how to deal with this notice. We'll be covering this letter in greater detail in the upcoming issue of Spidell's Federal Tax Letter. And if you're not already a subscriber, you can join this monthly news community at caltax.com under the Publications tab. Recently, the National Taxpayer Advocate examined the IRS's math error authority, which allows the IRS to bypass normal audit and deficiency procedures through an abbreviated process and its expanded use in tax legislation. The most recent instance of the IRS's math error authority deals with the recovery rebate credit, which is claimed on a taxpayer's 2020 and 2021 income tax returns if the taxpayer did not receive the full economic impact payments they were entitled to. Taxpayers who claimed an incorrect recovery rebate credit will have their credit adjusted by the IRS using math error authority, and many of these taxpayers are receiving letter 6470. Unfortunately, some taxpayers who have received these notices believe they are scams. They are not. Compounding the problem is that the notice provides a phone number the taxpayer can call to protest the notice. Of course, due to the sheer volume of calls, it's almost impossible to get through to the IRS. Also, letter 6470 contains very confusing language, and in some cases it's plain incorrect, and it's supposed to be a follow-up to notice CP11, CP12, or CP13, but many taxpayers never received these first notices. Also, because letter 6470 is a math error notice, the taxpayer has to respond to the IRS within 60 days if they disagree with the letter. If the taxpayer requests an abatement within the 60-day period, the IRS has to abate the assessment and then follow regular deficiency procedures and reassess the additional tax. When requesting an abatement within the 60-day period, taxpayers are not required to provide supporting documentation. The simple act of requesting the abatement is enough to force the IRS to abate the assessment. If the taxpayer fails to respond within 60 days, they lose their appeal rights, so it's important not to ignore these letters. But because the math error notices don't clearly articulate what was adjusted on the taxpayer's return, why the adjustment was made, or the amount of the adjustment, it's impossible for taxpayers to determine whether they agree or disagree with the adjustments. Also, the notices don't clearly explain the 60-day period for requesting abatement and don't identify the deadline to request abatement. Taxpayers who receive these notices can set up an online account at irs.gov to verify the economic impact payments they received and compare to the amounts reported on their returns. If the letter is incorrect or the taxpayer disagrees, they can contact the IRS with the phone number on the letter or by mail within 60 days. We'll be covering this and all other tax-related changes from 2021 at our federal and California tax update webinars beginning in November. You can see a full list of topics and get registered at caltax.com under the webinars tab. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another installment of Spidell's California Minute.